All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the basic look and feel of your website and how to change the different elements and settings and how things are laid out. So to start off with, I'm just going to use this real estate template and I'm going to show you how things are laid out and set up. So to start off with, we have each of these different where you see this uh, divider here that you can expand. That one's a stripe. Every place where you have a plus, you can add a new stripe. And a stripe is just this one of these little sections or boxes. Inside of a stripe, we have different things. And we have sections and elements. So the section is the entire block of what's everything inside of the stripe. And you can add elements to the section by just clicking on the plus sign. And if you leave your mouse over it, then you'll see what each of it is. So this one's a draggable picture. This one's a subtitle, video, body, add a button, icon, map, divider, and HTML code. And so if I click on something like the body, now I have the body that I can edit and do what I want with the body. One thing that you should know about editing your bodies is if you have this text here, it's going to change everything like that. You can also double click inside when you double click then you have more of these options like this and you can change individual text size inside of your text. So you see how you can do that and you can also change the color here and you have a bunch of different options and you can, oh, sorry that was the uh, background of the text and here is the color of the text and if you want to link that text to something or if you just want to link something inside of here to something and you can link here you can adjust the line height the font and the same goes for the header but for the header for the title you don't have the double click option to like add links inside and this is because this acts as a h1 tag this acts as a header tag and so you can't be adding links and stuff like that inside of a header tag. So that's why you can't add anything like that. But what you can do, you can still make the entire header a link by doing that and just clicking go to. So that's how you add different elements inside of an item. If you decide you don't want something, you can just click on it and remove element. Be careful because if you do remove section, that's going to delete this entire section. So for this, we're just going to remove that element. Now, what if you want more than one button inside? It's OK, because after you click add a button, you can come inside. And you can add another one. And you can add another one. And you can add a whole bunch of buttons inside if you would like. Then you can change the styling of the buttons just by going to button style and then you can change everything about the style. And again, if you decide you don't want something, you can always click on it and remove element. Here you can change the element order. So let's say I change this button to Now if I click up, now you can see I move that button to the left. This one's going to edit the entire section setting. And so if you want to change the positioning of the text, you can do that here. Boxed or stretched will change the style. 
window height, we'll set it to the full size of your window of your screen. You can add the subtitles, bodies, and icons from there as well. You can add a slideshow. Here is where you would add your slides if you're going to do the slideshow. Here's the FX for the entire slide and you can see you have the filters that you can use on top and it will apply it to everything inside of the slide. You can have different effects for how your text and all your elements are going to show up. Here you can change the padding. So you can see here we're just making different changes to the layout and how things look. Now you can't drag and drop these buttons in the text anywhere you want. And the reason you can't is because everything is set up to be 100% mobile responsive all of the time. So these templates are designed to only allow you to make changes that is not going to mess up the mobile responsiveness and so that it will always look good on a mobile. And the reason for this is because mobile traffic is going to be continuing to increase over the years already. There's more searches and more surfing on a mobile on mobile devices than on desktop. So that's why it's incredibly important to make sure your website always looks great on mobile. So that's why we just made it so that you're not even able to make your website non-mobile responsive. So that's why you can't just drag and drop and put things anywhere you want. You can always resize things to the size that you want using the different settings, but you can't just drag and drop and put things any, anywhere. Now let's say I wanted to add a slide, I can just click on add slide there and then you can see I have that little button to click to go to the next slide. And then you can replace the image if you want with one of your own or you can use the media center. And you go to the next image and Put whatever image you want and then you can keep adding more slides and more images and you can just click on manage slides here and then you'll be able to go between your different slides and then add what slides you want where and you'll notice that your buttons are always going to show up in your text and everything is always going to show up so the slides are just like for the background so that's how you manage and edit your slides. When you're done, you just click on done. And now we have a nice little slideshow background, which is cool for real estate and photography and restaurants and people who are selling things. You can have your products uh, showing in the background with text and buttons on top, make the products part of the website. Now in these type of stripes, each of these things are edible and each of these things where you have a plus you can add more things inside so if I wanted to add another button to there I can add another button to there if I wanted to add a map even inside I can change that one to a map if I want to get rid of it I can just click on that now I've gotten rid of the image behind the map and if you have an image here and you want to change it to something, it is important that first you remove the image so that it's not trying to load both the image and whatever you put on top. Because if you just have an image and then if you add and then if you add a map, it's not it's not going to replace the image with the map, it's just going to place a map on top of the image and that's going to slow up your load time. So when you're editing these, always make sure that you remove whatever is there first before you add what you want. Each of these is editable, editable just by clicking. If you click on an element that is repeated in more than one area, for quick editing, it'll ask you if you want to remove just this one or all of them. 
So if I click on only this item, it's only going to remove that one. If I click yes, now you see it's removed all the pricing from all of them. So that saves you time. If you want to edit out and add stuff in, you can choose to either just remove one or remove all of that type from that section. Anytime you want to delete a stripe, like say you chose a template, but there's a part of it you don't want, you can just click on the red and delete section. So let's say I don't want this little thing here, just as an example, delete section. Now that section is gone. If I wanted to replace it with something else, I just click on that plus, and now I can choose any type I want and replace it. Can replace it with different elements as well. Title, subtitle, body video, but it's better to start with a major section and then just delete what you don't want or add what you want rather than trying to go from here. If you go from here, it gets a little bit more complicated. So I suggest just choosing one of the pre layouts already and then just editing it and deleting what you don't need. And each of these sections has their own little edit button here that you can edit. You can rearrange the order by using these arrows. So I just move that one under. If I want to move it all the way to the bottom, I can just keep on clicking down and it will keep going down. If I want to copy a section, like I made something and I want the exact same thing in my next section, or I want to copy it so I can edit it and change a few things. Like if I've got a shop and let's say I want to show more than just three properties, then what I would do is I would come to this layer, this level, and this button here is copy. So now it says section copied to the clipboard. Wherever I want to add it, I just click on the plus button and here is paste. So there we go. Now I have two that I can use for selling my stuff. And if I want another one, then I can just keep copying and pasting as many as I want. You can only copy and paste one element. So you see when I go in here, there's no paste and it's because you have to copy again whatever you want to paste. So each time you copy it and paste it, you'll have to copy again. To change the sizes, you can just click and drag how big you want that section to be. Uh, yeah, don't forget that you can come here and change the positioning. If you don't like the position of something, you can change the style, you can change how things are shown there. Even if you want to have this header be a slideshow, you can set your effects. So this edit button here is going to have a lot of the options for that section that you're editing. And you can see there's different options for how things are going to be displayed. Here you can select which thing you want to show the spacing on and then you can edit it. So right now we're on text box spacing. So you can see if we start clicking there, now we have our text box up there is getting bigger and smaller. So that's how you can change the size on those. If you want to change between that, then we just go to tile spacing. And subtitle spacing. See, we're ch making all those changes inside of there. So if you want to play with the spacing and you want to play with uh, getting the size and width and everything different, then you can, you can do that as well. And another thing you can do is change the opacity of the different things inside. You can see here I'm changing the opacity and if I want I can change the background color. Right now the background color is blue. I can easily change the background color to whatever I want. Just like that. More. Let's make it something horrible. Yeah, that's pretty bad. 
Okay, let's leave it at that. It's eye catching though. And even here, like for these, you can change all of these backgrounds as well just by going there and clicking on the backgrounds. So you can see it's very easy. You have the section where you can edit and copy and move it here. And then inside of the section, you have each of these different boxes where you can add different elements to these different items. So inside of these items, you can add the elements. Here we have the layout as well. So you can see you can change the, whether it's like that or like that, and then the spacing of the text and the buttons and everything. And again, if you want to have it boxed or stretched. So now we have it stretched and that's boxed. So you can see the differences there. Inside of each of the items, you can edit each of the different things just by clicking on it. And it's pretty easy to see what each of the things mean because it has a little lab label there. So even if you want to do the section settings here, you can do the section settings. You can see now we have the different options for how the pictures are going to show. This is rectangular fit. So if you have different size pictures, this can work well for the different pictures. If you want to remove your headers, you want to add a header. You can do that. You can see there we just added the header. If you wanted the subtitle or not, you can add the subtitles. We have subtitles there. So we removed our subtitles and titles by clicking there. Adjust the line spacing. You can adjust how many items are in the row. So we can have three, or if we want the things looking bigger, we can even put it at one. So you can see even between the different styles of the templates, you can still change how they look and edit the look and feel to change them very greatly. Like the look and feel of this one. And then if I wanted to, like now I'm on my gallery settings. See now I have the text and the buttons on top of the images. So that's another, another way to change the look and feel of it. And don't forget to save your changes when you're editing and you've made a change that you like. Go ahead and save it. All right, that's it for editing the look and feel and adding things to your website. Okay, see you soon.